Well, good morning. Today we're going to build this <clears throat> long 25 foot shop, sh shop shelf. If you want to see how we did it, stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 380, um, week 16 of our eighth year. Uh, so welcome to our summer extravaganza where it's too hot to go outside ever uh, but it's a cool morning this morning uh, and I got out out here early to get uh, started on this week's project today we're going to uh, I need to work on fixing the fence but it's too hot so we're going to do some inside work where it's air conditioned and take advantage of the morning here a little bit. Uh, today we're going to build a, a 24 foot shelving system across the back wall. And it, it sounds uh, simple and straightforward, but it isn't really once uh, you look at the situation. But before we tackle that situation, we're going to have to do one thing. What is that? We need to knock off that chit chat and get to work. The genesis of this thing is the fact that I got a lot of memorabilia just sitting out, um, sort of sitting on top of stuff. And I need a shelf to put it on. There's an old prototype. Just uh, stuff I need to display, but I don't have a place to display it. Now my goal is to put in a shelf right up here that goes the full length from the air conditioner all the way down to the end down there, just above the top of the clamps. Which means a lot of this stuff's going to be taken out of here. Now to get in here to put that shelf up there, it's going to go right about at the level, the top of those clamps right there, all the way down. But to do that, I need to be able to get up there and work, and I'm stymied by all this stuff that's in the in the way. But luckily, all this stuff is all on wheels. Locking wheels. So, I should be able to move all this stuff out of the way and get up there to install the shelf. But as a general rule, you don't want 75 year old fat people up on ladders doing anything. And so that to that end, I've invented this, uh, this cage here around this table, which will give me uh, I can, I can stand up in here and I don't have to worry about falling out and I can uh, install my shelf. Um, this, this cage is, works surprisingly well. Let me show you how I built it. Now frankly, I thought this thing was going to be temporary. Use it today and throw it away tomorrow. But the thing has turned out to be absolutely rock solid and very simple construction, but very elegant. Now what I got is some one by material overlapped here and attached with screws into this tabletop. And then I got cross brace down here at the bottom, another one at the top, and these diagonal braces.
but I left the diagonal brace out of this end so that I can climb in here. I'm going to have to come up with some shelf brackets, but these shelf brackets aren't going to work. Uh, let me take one of these shelf brackets down and show you why it's inappropriate. So here's what the uh, old, the braces that are up there now, what they look like. They're grossly overbuilt, which is okay, but they, I think they just look bad. Um, but anyway, they got, they got this 2 by material that, you know, they're made up with this 2 uh, by material. But then it's got two by material angle brace here, and it's got a half inch plywood gusseted to both sides. Well, this thing would hold up, you know, this is way more than we need. Uh, this was put up there because I had, I've had uh, pipes and uh, pipe clamps up there, which are you know, weigh hundreds of pounds, so this thing had to be super strong. Well, what we're doing now didn't have to be that strong. So here's a little schematic of the braces we're going to we're going to build. Uh, this is two by material. It's actually one and three eighths square. And you saw me on the, on the phone. I mean, on the uh, saw put this little dado down the middle of uh, each one of the boards and then a piece of 3 6 inch, in, three -sixteenths inch plywood will fit down in that groove and that'll be glued and nailed. Here's that little piece of plywood and that should give us all the strength we need. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Now here's a little prototype I built that uh, I'll fit up against the wall like that. And then the shelf will be screwed right onto here.
Well, I went ahead and uh, put some stain on the various parts. There's the outer trim. Haven't showed you this. This outer trim, it also has a, a dado in it. That's a half an inch, and the edge of the plywood will go into it. You notice it's not stained on this side because I'm going to try to glue it to the edge of the plywood. Um, now this will stiffen the shelf and also uh, go to align the, the sheets of uh, plywood. And I went in and did that because I had to move a couple of minutes ago you saw you know my my thickness planer and toolboxes and out feed table and who knows what else is all against that wall. And so I had to move all that stuff scattered all over the shop now. All that stuff right there. A toolbox and my sand, my drum sander. So I got my scaffolding all set up. I also built a little, while I'm waiting on that to dry, I built a little tool tray up there in the top. So this is how the system's going to work. So right now I'm putting the braces in. Now the top, the top of the shelf is not stained because I'm going to try to glue the edging on there and I also need to um, sister a, uh, a joint between those uh, sheets of plywood. Here's how these things go in. The first thing I'd do is put a, start these screws. I've already got them pre-drilled and countersunk. These are just inch and a quarter deck screws. So they only got to go through about uh, three quarters of an inch. Then I've got it marked. Uh, I got 15 feet. I got 15 feet to go down through here. And so I got it marked off every three feet. says plum. I should check that. Now it'd be just as easy to measure this with a tape measure, but you know I am. I like to make these little witness sticks. So this is my three three foot stick. But you can see that it comes out right at my, uh, well, it comes out just beyond my trim, so I can put it over here on the other side. So this will go in there just like that.
I'll send it back. I'm showing you everything but the uh, everything but the shelf bill today. But I'm pretty proud of my little uh, tool band here. It's uh, made of one by material with uh, quarter inch plywood in the bottom. Made it to exactly fit the inside here. Luckily everything was square. And I just screwed it into the sides with uh, deck screws. And it'll hold everything. Okay, let me go ahead and put the rest of the uh, the rest of the braces in. I got three more to put in down through there. And we'll get to uh, put in the shelf. Well, I got all the uh, shelf braces up and got that plywood laid in. I got uh, essentially three sheets of plywood or lengths of plywood, giving my full length, which means that I have two joints. And the joints didn't come out even because the uh, um, window and air conditioner and, you know, working around everything. Um, so I've, I've got some splices in it. And these are they're kind they're blunt uh, splices. Let me show you how I make that uh, if you take here you can see. Here you can see how how that's done. I've got a just a piece of quarter inch plywood that I glued and screwed, and that keeps the uh, you know that keeps it even up there. Same way on the other end. And then here's where that uh, trim I showed you with the uh, dado that will go. That will overlap. I've, I've you know, taken out sections of this so that the sections of this will then overlap those joints. So now that splice has quarter inch plywood uh, back there. And then it's got this uh, long trim um, over the joint. So that joint will be nice and strong. You won't even know it's there. So from up here, you can see the whole uh, system. The uh, braces are holding up the half inch sheet of plywood. The plywood is scarfed together with that uh, quarter inch piece of plywood that is both glued and screwed. And then the whole thing is locked together with that uh, that trim right there that overlaps that joint. And it goes the full goes the full length of the uh, project. Okay, let me go go ahead and get the rest of the trim on. Well I got all the uh, trim on all the way down to the end and I got to do some angle trim installation down there. Let me show you how that works. Okay, uh, that's kind of a little refresher here. The uh, red right there is the trim and then this is the the piece we're trimming, the edge we're trimming. The uh, angle that you cut that trim I, it might may be intuitive, but it's half of whatever this angle is. Normally it's 90 degrees, but if you have an angled cut, then you just take half of it of, you know, uh, 45 degrees if it's 90. In our case, 
our angle is 50 so it's going to be 25. Over here you can see uh, this is our angle that we're cutting this trim. It's 50 degrees so I need to cut this angle 25 degrees on both both of these. But we have a further complication. Um, we have dados cut into our trim and you can't just cut the trim to the edge like you do without the dados. Uh, you still use the 25 degrees, but you have to you have to shorten the short end of your cut, the depth of the dado right here. And you think, well, what in the world, when would I ever know that? Well, when you're making picture frames and stuff, if you got a rabbit around the outside or a dado to hold the glass, um, the, you have to account for that, uh, that dado here in this joint. Let me go up there and let's go top side and take a look at this in, re in the real world. So here you can see my total angle here is 50. So I put a 25 a degree cut on this. And I'm, uh, I'm gluing this trim in place. Well, there's our shop uh, shop shelf shop shelf. We got it trimmed all the way around. Trim serves two purposes: uh, it stiffens it and also aligns the boards. Uh, we invented some new braces. We went over how to scarf uh, plywood together. And we talked about uh, talked about how to do these angled uh, trim pieces. Okay, it's going to take me a while to untangle the shop, so uh, we won't go through that. But next week, everything should be back in uh, fighting trim. Well, that does it for. Uh, Another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 380, the uh, week 16 of year 8. I, uh, I didn't mention it at the time, but we were putting in that. I wanted to save it for the people who actually went all the way to the end of the video. That way I can tell <coughs> who went to the end of the video. Uh, we were doing that trim. I ran a brad all the way through my finger. And this is the this is one of the fingers I got caught in a uh, in a table saw about ten years ago. <clears throat> well, anyway, that's what happens when you get in a hurry. So don't get in a, in a hurry. Okay, I think we had some takeaways. Uh, uh, I think we we made some pretty good improvements on our shelf brackets. Uh, went over how to uh, scarf plywood together uh, using another piece of plywood. We reinforced the uh, uh, shelf with the trim. Um, overall, I'm pretty satisfied. So like, favorite, and share, and all the stuff to you on the internet. But most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.